Hi, today I'll be doing a video on starfish, explaining the anatomy of the starfish. So basically right here, we have an example of a sea star, an asteroidae. Basically right, what I have here is the avoral surface. And when I flip it over, this one is the oral surface. So basically, right, um, for the avoral surface, we have here this hole, which is the anus, and this hole is the madriporite. The madriporite is involved in the water vascular system, which is needed for the sea stars for locomotion, feeding, and possibly uh, prey avoidance. So we can see here that these sea stars have five arms and it's actually what you call a pentadromous symmetry. This pentadromous symmetry can be further amplified by the by the five ambulacral groove in the oral surface. One more feature that is found out in the sea stars is the papillae, which you can see here. It's the small, it's the small little groove, uh, which is used for mostly gas exchange in the sea stars. So now we're gonna look, take a look at the outer surface of the sea stars. The oral surface of the sea stars is actually com consists of the five ambulacral groove here and here, uh, which uh, is where the two feet uh, will originate. And it's actually uh, an additional feature to the pentadromous symmetry. As you can see here, these are the two feet. They are coming out from the ambulacral groove, and the central. And the central uh, part of the sea star where my thumb is pointing is actually the mouth, which is actually the part where they consume their food and where the two feet will actually bring the food the, from the arms all the way to the mouth. And uh, as this sea star is not uh, feeding, we have an example of a sea star which is feeding, which is right here. This sea star is actually feeding on a muscle which is deep inside. As you can see, the, the tube feet are actually clinging to the substrate. This is the suction. Um, and there, the, if you look closely inside, that's the muscle inside. Where the sea star is actually um, opening up the muscles and using the tube feet to go inside the muscle to actually feed on the flesh. And that will be the end of my video.